Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's look at the ideas of domain and range of a function. So domain is simply the set of values of x. So imagine that's an x-axis here, where the function is defined. Define meaning drawn here if we were to draw this function. Okay. So, and the range is simply the set of values, the y values um, that are that you see in the drawing that, that actually occur. So the, the x the x values that occur in the drawing for the curve itself is the domain, and the y values is the range. Now let's talk a little bit about how we would find this algebraically at least the domain. Okay, so suppose we have a function and it looks something like this. Square root two minus two minus x. And maybe this is all over uh, something like x plus three. Okay, now let's try to find the domain of this function. The domain will be the set of values for which this expression is well defined. Um, so the, these operations actually make sense. Um, so we don't get an error on the calculator if we were to plug something in for a particular x value. What we do is we look at, at different operations one at a time. We look at the square root operation. What's acceptable to go into that? Well, anything that is greater than or equal to zero. We look at the division operation. What's acceptable to go, in, to go into that or underneath in the denominator? Well, anything that's not equal to zero. Every other operation has no restrictions. The square root and the division are the only restrictive type operations. So we can simplify both of these to be adding x to both sides. 2 is greater than or equal to x. Here, subtracting 3 to both sides, x is not equal to negative 3. So it means x has to be less than or equal to 2, and it can't be negative 3. So on a number line, it goes up to 2. But at negative 3, we exclude it. Now in interval not notation, that would be read as neg the interval from negative infinity up until three. Don't include three, so we use a parenthesis, union, parenthesis, negative, oh, that's a negative three, excuse me. So negative infinity up until negative three, union, negative three, up until two, close bracket. So that is how you can find the domain. You look at the different restrictive operations. Now, We'll talk about these types of functions in another video. Yet yeah, there's another type of restrictive operation that arises. Logarithms. In a log, what can go into a log is only things that are positive. Zero doesn't work either. So if I had something like x plus 5, and maybe I had this, um, and maybe this was over something like um, x, uh, yeah, let's see, x minus 10 or say uh, x minus 10, and I wanted to find the domain of this, well, I have two restrictive operations, a logarithm and a division. The restriction for a log is what's inside of it has to be strictly positive. Notice for the square root, it was greater than or equal to, here it's just positive. The denominator, it has to just not be zero. Okay, so simplifying those, we get x is greater than negative five. Here, x cannot be equal to 10. So in interval notation, we would have from negative five upward until 10, don't include it, and then don't include 10 again, but then keep going. Thanks for watching.